So yesterday morning, I woke up at the ass crack of dawn. 10.30 a.m. To this sound. Wiped them eye boogers out my eyes. Hopped about the bed. Turned my swag on. And I see y'all looking at my feet. Got dressed, headed to the bathroom. Looked in the mirror, pretended I was light-skinned, and said, what's up? Struggled to get toothpaste on my toothbrush for whatever reason. Then I brushed my teeth for exactly two minutes because I'm not a dirt ball. Let my beautiful hair down like Rapunzel and walked into the kitchen. Then I looked outside and to my enjoyment, I seen we were having a snow day. Once the swag was on a million, I was on my way out the door. And before I left, I was faced with one dilemma that every film photographer is faced with before going outside to shoot. Which camera do I take? And after internally debating with myself, I decided that I'm going to take my expensive film camera in my expensive film and hope that just because both of these things are expensive that no matter what photo I take is going to be fire. So I'm shooting Fuji Natura today, which is by far the most expensive film I've ever paid a single dollar for. So I shot this film one other time with Willem on his channel and his subscribers let us know that they hated the fact that we shot this film through point and shoots and they also hated the fact that we shot it during the day. Not to mention they were a little bit mad about something else I did. So I decided to shoot it through my expensive 35mm camera, the Leica M6. To show his subscribers that it definitely matters which film camera you choose to shoot your film in. But in my humble opinion, I think if someone spends their own money on something, they should be able to do whatever they want with it. So hard to see. And as for shooting it during the day, mm, at least the sun wasn't out, I guess. And to be honest, I was enjoying this snow day more than I was enjoying taking photos. And everything was all good until I fell and hurt myself.
That shit hurt. After that, for some reason, my brain decided that it was no longer going to work and um, I was no longer going to be a photographer. So I gave up on photography for the day. The next day, I decided to listen to Willem's subscribers for whatever reason and tried to go outside at night to shoot this film. The second day of this winter vortex polar bear ice storm was considerably worse than the first day. And for whatever reason, I didn't wear my snow goggles, but I definitely needed them because it was very hard to take photos with wind and ice and snow blowing into my eyes. I drove around for hours and walked around for hours trying to find a decent photo. The fact that this film cost so much, I think to me, discombobulated my brain and made me think that I had to shoot the best things and only the best things with this film or less I was wasting the film and my money. So after driving around confused for hours and not finding anything that I found worthy of shooting this holy grail $70 film with, I decided to go home. And that is where our story ends. So I'll hand it off to future Volandis to tell y'all the rest of the story. But before we do that, here are some Fuji Natura photos. All right, so back at the crib, we've had a long two days of constant snow here in Detroit, Michigan. I'm not really that big of a fan of snow. I think snow is cool for the first day, um, for the first couple hours that it's snowing, it's pretty and it's like, oh yeah, it's snowing. Maybe if you've never seen snow, snow's more pretty and I guess um, interesting to you. I've been living in Michigan my entire life, 27 years, so snow bothers me. Um, I just know the difficulties of having to live life while also dealing with the snow, like driving, going, walking, whatever it is. Snow is an inconvenience more than it's beautiful to me. But this was the first snow day of the year, and honestly, the first like kind of real snow of the winter season, so I thought I'd go out and take photos. I also just got the Fuji Natura as y'all know 1600 y'all have seen the video and photos this entire time so y'all know that i've been shooting with this film and y'all know that this film is very expensive i paid 70 dollars for this single roll of film plus shipping from um out of the country so yeah like 80 some dollars for 36 exposures of film now like i said i've shot this film before with willem and I liked it. Did I think it was worth $70? Not whatsoever, like not at all actually. And I still don't think it's worth $70, but but since this film is 1600 ISO, I did wanna take photos at a later time in the day. And I also did wanna shoot it through a camera that um, people, I guess, deemed worthy of shooting this film through. I personally don't like when things are overly expensive because it kind of fucks my brain up and it kind of makes me think about things in a different way. And I usually don't let things bother me or let how much things cost um, confuse me or like manipulate my brain. But for some reason, since this film was seventy dollars, um, I was a lot more. I was a lot less eager to take photos of just random things or things that I personally thought was, I guess, either mediocre or not worthy of enough to be shot with on this expensive film. And that was stupid because it kind of ruined my time and kind of just overall ruined the experience of shooting with the film because I drove around exhausting myself for hours in this snowstorm, um, just trying to find something that I thought would be worthy instead of just like shooting the snowstorm and just like shooting um just like life when when there's a snowstorm the next day when i went to go drop this film off at my local film lab i decided to shoot a few snow covered things like a car there's also this ice cream shop that had like colorful seating 
that I decided to take pictures of because um, I thought it was cool and kind of just like dope to see like the aftermath of a snowstorm. So shot that and I was happy with that. I was happy with most of the photos that I took. Honestly, I honestly had more fun making this video than I than I did um, taking photos with this film, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Photographer experience. So here we are. Anyway, speaking of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to start doing more of my videos in this fashion, in this style, and just like kind of cinematic storytelling type of way. Um, a lot of people complain about the the film photography or photography community on YouTube all being the same and like nobody and like all the videos kind of being the same. And then when people do different things, people would much rather watch the videos that they complain about a lot more than they would rather watch something different. So I really, I really don't understand. But anyway, this is the direction that I want to move towards with my videos. And I've been doing this for a while with short films and stuff like that. But I want to incorporate it more into these regular just like film photography videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I had fun making it. Anyway, it's gonna wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, it was fun. It was cool. And I want to make more. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, I'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do. So let's get up out of here, man. Let's go do some shit. You know the vibes. Let's get it. Oh, I'm supposed to get up and walk away. Hold on. Let's get it.